Hey there, I'm Ben Mankiewicz, and I'm back with Time Magazine writer and film critic Richard Corliss to talk more about his book, Mom in the Movies, and the film we just saw, the 1959 version of Imitation of Life. Uh, we talked before the movie about the 1934 version, Claudette Colbert, Warren William, Louise Beavers, but uh, it, there's an, another mm. sort of version of this movie, but it's not an American version. Yes, uh, in uh, the golden age of Mexican cinema, as it was called in the 40s, late 40s and early 50s, they often did uh, not exactly official uh, remakes or adaptations of some of the great uh, Hollywood movies. And their version of Imitation of Life, we'll call it Imitation of Imitation of Life, was in English, Little Black Angels, mm -hmm. Angelito Negros. And here the, uh, the young woman who wants to pass for white, which is a light-skinned, uh, African Mexican uh, thinks she is white. Oh, so she, she has, doesn't. She doesn't, she even doesn't know. know. Oh my god! And in fact, she's prejudiced against black people, including the the dark skinned maid who loves her, who is her mother. Who's her mom? And she doesn't and even so know. And so when oh, she yeah. and so when she has uh, marries Pedro Infante and has a child of her own who is darker skinned, she blames Pedro for it because she doesn't know the line has come through her. And the poor little four-year-old, the sight of the poor, poor little four-year-old at her mother's mirror applying uh, pancake makeup to her face so that she will look more like her mother is something that is much more touching than I made it sound. Well, it, so, but it makes it also sound like the, our versions, the American versions, the 34 and the 59 versions, it sounds like they pulled punches compared to the A Mexican version. A little bit. Yeah. The only punches pulled in this is that virtually all of the actors who played the African characters were light-skinned actors in blackface. No, well, 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 that's a problem. <laughs> but for 1948, it's... Yeah, I got it. We got to put it in context. All right, Richard, thank you very much. Stick around. Richard and I will be back to introduce another film featuring another mother of a screen mom when she's not comforting her grown son by having him sit in her lap with a shot of whiskey. She's encouraging him to kill just a few more people than he already has. Tonight on Turner Classic Movies, James Cagney is a bad mama's bad boy in white heat. Then Ginger Rogers goes from fun-loving shop girl to bachelor mother. And mother of the bride Betty Davis frets over the catered affair. Gregory.